Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this video, let's see how to calculate the gratuity amount in Excel. So we have the definition here, the eligible criteria and the formula to be used for the gratuity and the below table. We have six examples to explain in detail. So let's start with the gratuity. Gratuity is a benefit which is payable under the Payment of Gratuity Act 1972. Gratuity is a sum of money paid by an employer to an employee for the service rendered in the company. The eligible criteria. The first criteria is an employee who retires. An employee resigns after working for five years with a single employer. An employee passes away or suffer disability due to the illness or accident. Let's see how to calculate the gratuity. And the formula is average salary multiplied by number of service here multiplied by 15 divided by 26. So 15 divided by 26 is like half of your salary. So the first requirement for the calculation is the average salary. Let's see how to get that. So average salary is basic salary plus dearness allowance. So let's calculate the average salary here. So I use the sum function SUM basic salary comma dearness allowance the center and I extend the formula to get the average salary of the employee. So this would be the monthly salary that is basic plus TA. So here we have the basic, we have the dearness allowance together is 12,000 and in the second example the basic salary is 12,000. There is no dearness, dearness allowance. So together is 12,000. Now the second criteria is number of service, number of service here. So let's calculate by comparing date of joining and the last working day. For this, I use the dated if function. Dated if, open bracket, date of joining, comma, last working day comma and then I give y to calculate number of years press enter I extend the formula until the last row now you have for the first employee comparing from date of join to last working day it is number of years is 9 same with the second employee and for the third employee it's only 2 years and 4 for the next employee now we also need to calculate number of months the employee has worked. So for this again dated if first criteria is the date of joining, second criteria is last working day, and then I use yy sorry y m and you extend the formula so this column will give me the details of after working number uh, nine years how many additional months have been worked by the employee so in this case the employee has worked for nine years five months second case nine years eight months likewise we have the data here now let's see uh, how to calculate number of years for the gratuity calculation. So uh, in case if any employee who worked more than or equal to six months, then it will be calculated as one year. For example, in this case, number of years is Y, number of year is nine and number of month is five. So in this case, still it is considered as nine. So in the next case, the number of employee, number of year is nine, number of month is eight. So in this case, it is eight is considered as a whole year. So it will be nine plus one. It will be ten years for the gratuity calculation. So let's see how to give the how to get that by using formula. I use simple if function if if i5 i5 is less than 6 in case if this is less than 6 comma the first requirement is i take number of years 
from column H. If it is more than 6, then it will be this plus 1. Press enter. And I exchange the formula. Now, if you notice here, for this, we still have 9 years because this employee has worked less than 6 months after 9 years completion. Here, it is 10. Again, the reason is after 9 years, again, it is 8 months. Employees work for 8 months. So, 9 plus 1 is 10. So, likewise, we have the data here. Here it is 5. And here is 2 plus 2 years plus 7 months. It is 3. 4 years plus 1 month. It is 4. Now, let's calculate whether the employee is eligible for gratuity. As I told, the employee should work for 5 years to get the eligibility. So, for that, Let's use again the simple if function. If the gratuity number of years for the gratuity calculation is greater than or equal to 5, then the employee eligible is eligible for gratuity. Not, not eligible. bracket press enter let me extend the formula now you can see wherever we have more than five years or equal to five years it is updated as eligible for example first example nine years eligible ten eligible here we have two years four years three years employee is not eligible again the last example five years employee is eligible now let's the final part is to calculate the gratuity amount is equal to average salary average salary we already have in the column G let me take that right by uh, number of service here we have in column J right by the next Criteria is 15 divided by 26, that is 15 divided by 26, close bracket, press enter, and I extend the formula. So here, uh, even though the employee is not eligible, we are getting this amount. So for that, again, we can use the simple VLOOKUP function, sorry, uh, simple IF function. If K5, K5 is equal to eligible, comma, comma, then we need to have this function else it should be updated as not well not eligible so here in case wherever in the column k it is updated as eligible then we use this formula wherever it is not applicable or not eligible then we don't use the formula we just update as not eligible so that's how the if function is written here the center then I extend the formula. Then you can see wherever it is not eligible in column K, it is updated as not eligible. And wherever it is eligible, we have the gratuity amount. So, in the formatting, I go to home. I just reduce this. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's how you calculate the gratuity amount in Excel. Thank you.